Hi everyone. Um, if you're new here, then hello. My name is Molly, and if you're a sub subscriber, then welcome back. Um, this is my first creative look on the channel. Um, and I've tried to make it just as easy as I possibly could for people. I've just done a basic witch. Um, I've done this just so people can easily follow it as some creative looks can be a bit off-putting and a bit um, not everybody's taste. So I wanted to do just a basic one just for people who are just starting doing creative looks or have no clue doing creative looks. And this is just an easy basic one that I think everyone can follow. I've tried to make it just as easy as possible again, just for beginners or people, for anybody. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you want to achieve this look, then please keep watching. So I've already done my eyebrows and I've primed my eyes off camera. I just did some basic concealer um, to carve and do my eyelid. I'm going to first go in with my Huda Beauty New Nude palette. I'm going to go in with the shade Play, which is kind of like, it's like my kind of foundation skin tone. Um, it's just a bit lighter and I'm just going to do one eye on camera just for you guys and then I'll do the next one off camera. And I'm just going in with this little, not little, this uh, Urban Decay blending brush. Um... And this is just going to be my first transition shade. And this is just going to go into the um, socket of my eye. Again, what I'm doing today is kind of like, it's like a Halloween-ish type of look. But I'm making it quite glam. So even if you weren't dressing up type thing, it could still be kind of dressing up. But you're not dressing up. <laughs> But um, if I was to wear this um, type of makeup, I would probably wear it dressed as a witch. Because I feel like, well, it's going to be a witchy look. <laughs> so you're just going to keep adding this. You might not be able to see it at first, obviously, because it blends in with your skin tone. But this is just kind of like a bit of a starting point to where you want your colour to be. So once you've done that, I'm going to go in with my Stacey Marie XL Carnival palette, which is my favourite. Because just look at how many colours there are. Um, and I'm going to go in with just a darker brown. I'm going to go in with this shade here, which is called Basic. And this is a 231 brush from Zoeva. And again, tap the product off. And I'm just going to, where I've just put that base, that first shade, I'm just going to just go over it and kind of just deepen it a bit, just so you've got more of a transition. I'm in a different setup today, guys. Um, I usually do my videos in my sister's room because my sister has a ring light and I don't, but today I am stood up at my bedroom window so this light is all natural so i'm just trying to uh try different settings but i'm currently stood up so i'm going to be stood up this whole tutorial so this is just for you guys you're welcome <laughs> um so yeah just keep deepening up that crease Again, with the circular motions, just blend it, keep blending it to where you want it to go. So going in with that same 231 brush, I'm going back in with my Huda Beauty palette in the shade Teddy, which is kind of like a darker brown. And I'm going to focus this on the inner corner, like where I'm starting my nose and my eyebrow. This is going to be like quite a messy type of look, but... Who cares? So you're just going to blend that into the near the brow bone and into your inner corner type thing. And just do that. I wanted to do like quite an easy. 
creative look for you guys just because it's my first one and I don't want to do it too complicated when um, it's my first one so I just thought I'd do a nice easy one that I think everyone would enjoy and could easily do again you don't have to use brown I'm going for like browny pinky purplies today I'm liking purple at the moment so I'm just going to keep blending that in until I feel happy with it I'm also going to go in again with that teddy and that same brush and I'm also just going to focus it on the outer corner of the eye just to darken it just a smidge more but I'm kind of going to do like a V well, not a V it kind of looks like an L that more than a V um, but I'm just going to focus this primarily on the outer corner like so it just kind of darkens it just a bit more and again obviously this is a Halloween look and it can be as messy as you want that's what Halloween's for and that's what being creative is for going messy so just go as messy as you want any colours you do you okay <laughs> So, I'm going to darken up that crease, this outer corner, should I say, just a bit more. And I'm going to go in with the shade Persuit. Hey, bros! Okay. Sorry about that, guys. Um, Again, I'm going to do this outer corner and I'm going to go in with the shade Persuasion, but with this same brush, just the tiniest amount, just to deepen that crease just a smidge more because... I'm doing um, a purpley, plummy kind of look again. So I'm going to just kind of smoke that, kind of like a V, so you can do like a V, so you kind of going like this and going up, but blending it like so. And obviously, what I tend to do is, sometimes when you're up close, you're kind of thinking, what have I done? But when you move back, and you have a look, it's kind of looks okay. Um, yeah, that might just be my excuse for when I have bad makeup there. It looks okay from far away. <laughs> but, yeah, just keep doing that. And just blend, blend, blend. The best advice I could give to somebody is blend your eyeshadows. Next, I'm going in with a mixture of my Hoda and my Stacey Marie palette to do my eyeball. Um, I'm going to go in with this really lilac. I was putting it red then. I meant to do lilac. This really lilac shade here called Orchid and that is very shiny which I'm looking forward to and I'm also going to go in with I'm thinking this one here which is called Daydream mm. I think they would look really good together so we're going to try it um, I think I'm going to go in with the Daydream first because obviously that's more of a pinky colour and I want it to be like purpley. So with my flat brush, this is a 234 brush from Zoeva. Um, I'm going to try the brush first and if I feel like it's not getting a lot on the eye, I will go in with my finger. If in doubt, always use your finger. You get what I mean? <laughs> So yeah, let's just pack this on and see what happens. And so far, nothing. <laughs> so I'm just looking in this mirror here as I'm doing it. And yeah, no products come from that. That was really a waste of time. But whereas you, when you use your finger, look at the difference. I don't know if this is just like a Huda Beauty thing or it's like other 
eyeshadows um but i always feel like sometimes you don't get a lot of pigment from them and that's not like saying that they're rubbish because i do not think huda beauty is rubbish but for the price you pay for them you'd think that they'd be super 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 pigmented because I'm not going, but I'm not going to go down that road of prices and things. People obviously work hard to do these eyeshadows and I'm not one of them people to go, oh well, it cost me this much money and it was rubbish. Do you know what I mean? I'm not that type of person. <laughs> so I'm going to try the flat brush with this orchid colour. Hmm. Let's have a see. wow can you see the difference like just a difference in how much you can see the product wow that's all i can say wow <laughs> sorry i don't know what game over me <laughs> so i'm gonna do the glitter to about here so leaving this bit to be quite showy of the dark colour. I'm just leaving it like that. I think that looks really nice. I don't think I should have bothered putting that daydream on because I feel like this colour alone just looks really good. So if you have a purple shade, if you have this pal palette, I think I would literally say buy this palette because I think it's 40 quid and it's massive. That's huge. Whereas, okay, I'm going to go in about pricing. Whereas this was six, nearly £60 for this. £40 for this. You see what I'm saying here? I'm just saying. So then I'm just going to darken it up just a bit more. And I'm going in with this type of brush. This is a brow line brush but I don't use it for a brown line. It's a 322 brush from Zoeva. I'm going back in with my Stacey Marie in the lights out, which is black. And I'm just going to create a little V. It's like, like so. What I'm gonna do is I'm kind of just like, blending the product in i'm just going to use the mirror in this just to do this i want to make sure you can see as well i'm just gonna so i'm just gonna stamp that in like that and then that little brush that we've been using i'm just gonna blend it kind of into the purple so what i'm doing here is i'm just blending it in just so it's not as harsh as I'd like it to be so I'm kind of looking for it to be not not like severely black but you've got like just a bit of darkness to the colour like this just to blend that colour in a bit more I'm going to go back in with this Huda Beauty palette in Spanked again with this purplish and I'm just going to add just a bit of the colour to where I've just put that black just so it's not too much of a harsh black and it kind of blends together like so does anyone else when they're blending or doing anything makeup wise do they got because I've literally just been doing that for about 20 not 20 minutes i've d literally been doing that since i've been doing this black and i've literally caught myself in the mirror and i've gone oh, like i was doing this and i've caught myself looking at it and i went <laughs> so i'm just going to darken up this glitter just a tad and i'm going to go in with this purple called wasted and i'm just going to tap some of that darker purple on top of the orchid And then keep going back in with the orchid 
it's just to make it a bit more darker because I feel like it's supposed to be quite a darkish look and right now it's not as dark as I'd like it to be so this is the eye look that I'm kind of wanting to go for um I'm just gonna go and do the base of my face so like my foundation my contour and my concealer because I'm gonna do quite something different with the blush and obviously I want you guys to follow so so I'm back I've done my base and my foundation I've done my concealer and I've done my contour but just to finish the contour I'm just going to add this teddy again where I did it in the inner corner I'm just going to add it from the nose all the way to the brow line like so just to darken it up just a bit more make it more spooky looking and yeah so I'm going to go in with my blush now and I'm kind of want it like a rosy look so I've done like the tip my cheeks and yeah I just want to kind of look rosy so I'm going to go in with my Sesame Marie and I'm going to use Foolish I'm going to use a darker pink as well so I'm going to use Funky but more primarily Foolish this Foolish is like kind of a corally kind of blush so uh, this is just a Ted Baker blush brush it's just a big fluffy brush I'm going to put that onto the cheeks and onto the nose so you kind of look a bit rosy so I've gone back and highlighted where I wanted to go. So now I'm going to add some freckles, some like fake freckles. And this is my Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour um, Kit in the shade Medium. And I'm going to go in with uh, Ash Brown, which is a dark, dark brown, which is this one. And then I'm going in with Cinnamon, which is the lighter one. And I'm just going to make some fake freckles so what i do is i get this is just an eyebrow brush from spectrum this is an a24 brush i use this side as you can see it's a bit dirty and i just get the dark ones and i just make some dots like this i'm going to put them all over my face all over my cheek well this part of my cheek, like my cheekbone. Um, I go in with the dark bit, like this. Go do some on my nose, like that. And then whilst it's wet, just tap with your finger or you can use a sponge and it kind of fades it in and makes them look less like you've just put some dots on your face. And then I go in with my lighter side uh, lighter shade and I just add some more again you don't have to put freckles on you might not be comfortable doing freckles but I like doing freckles so I'm going to do my under eye now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in with um teddy and spanked and I'm just going to blend these two together with this just basic blending brush this is just from an urban decay palette and i'm just gonna add that to the bottom lash like so i'm also gonna get this teddy and the spanked put them together and i'm gonna blend it up to here where your flick is and kind of incorporate it to the full eye so Obviously go back in, keep going back in and using the whole like product that's left on the brush just to add a bit more colour to the eye. So I've just coated my lashes with just a bit of mascara but we're going to put lashes on. For my top lashes, because we're doing both, we're doing bottom lashes as well. Uh, for my top lashes, I'm going to use my Lujo lashes in the shape, uh, shade, in the shape Champagne. I actually have a discount code for this. It is Lujo X Molly Olivia 20 and you can get 20% off. So if you like them, get some. So I went in with my Duo Glue and my trusted little brush and I put these on. Um, I um, wanted to make this look quite simple purely because obviously this is like the kind of beginner creative look because i know some people 
creative looks aren't their forte, not their thing, which is completely fine because everybody has a preference. I really enjoy doing creative looks and obviously the more creative looks I'm going to do on my channel are going to be a lot different. Like my next one, I'm going to be using face paint, so be prepared for that. But um, I wanted to make it like as basic as I possibly could because I know some people on Halloween will be like, I don't really want to go to that extreme. Do you know what I mean? And I kind of wanted to do this so that people could do still go out for Halloween, but they've still got kind of Halloweeny look, even though it might not be technically a really out there look. It's still a nice Halloween look for people to do. That's just what I wanted to do. This is what I wanted to do the channel for, just to help people, give them tips step-by-step -step things so both my top lashes are on i'm going to go in now with my bottom lashes and what i've done is i'm going to put them on one of my hand for you this is a doll beauty um bit of a lash in aria i've literally here's the, the original lash i've literally just cut the ends off them just the short bits just because um Obviously, I want some put, to just put some little individual looks on. But what I'm going to do is I'm just twisting them because I want them to be quite like a spike, not like wispy. So putting bottom eyelashes on is incredibly easy. I've already put some glue on this one. Um, and what you do is you just put a blob of glue on and just stick them to where you want them to go, but just make sure make sure that they don't stick to your tops, top lashes. So, and what I'm gonna do is I want one there, I want one there, and I want one there. So I'm putting them on like this because obviously I'm doing a witch look and I want them to be like spiders' legs. Always thinking. <laughs> so I did my lips off camera. Um, I used just a brown. Um, this is Film Noir by um, Mac. And I did, I lined my lips with just an eyeliner pencil. But what I'm gonna do is, I've just got this eyeshadow. I'm gonna go in with that lights out, that black get quite a bit on the brush and I'm going to tap it on the lip obviously if you have a black lipstick you can use that but this is me just winging it so once I've done this black I'm going to go in with orchid again just with this like kind of flat eyeshadow brush and with the small corner I'm gonna just do that inner corner like so just to give that a bit of colour and then with this side the flat the flat bigger side I'm gonna go in with this in the centre of my lip Just to add some shine. So obviously you pair this with a hat for a witch, obviously. Um, and that is the finished look, guys. Um, I tried to make this again step by step as easy as possible. Um, I wanted to do just quite, as I've said, an easy creative look. Just so I wanted everybody to follow and everyone to enjoy it. I know. As I said, some people aren't big on Halloween and dressing up for Halloween, so I just thought this could be just an easy one just for anyone to do. Um, so yeah, I hope you like the video. Um, please subscribe, I'll be doing more videos. And yeah, thanks for watching guys. See you later.